Daniel Ricardo was famously sacked last year with a season to run on his contract and replaced by fellow Aussie Oscar Piastri, and so far, it looks like the best sacking in history. It's been no secret since McLaren launched its new MCL60 Formula 1 car earlier this month that it was going to face a tough start to the season. Team principal Andrea Stella's admission that the squad was not entirely happy with the launch specification version of its 2023 Challenger had laid down a clear marker in reducing expectations. Launches are normally happy scene-setters for the campaign ahead, and it is quite rare for teams to deliver such a downbeat assessment as their shiny new model is revealed. The conclusion was that it was either a deliberate attempt to make very bad news less of a shock when track action got underway, or it was just an honest response from a former engineer to a perfectly normal question. But after two race sessions, its lap times have not been stellar and, out on track, the car has appeared labored, not braking and turning in as well as others and leaving Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri having to wait much later than their rivals to get back on power. The biggest problem is poor aerodynamic efficiency. This essentially means an F1 car produces too much drag at a set downforce level. It is the opposite of what a team wants, which is maximum downforce for the corners and minimum drag for good top speed. The biggest problem with draggy cars is not that they are slow in a straight line, it is the compromises that they force teams to make. In a bid to minimize the deficit down a straight, where a lot of time can bleed away, teams have to reduce wing angles to compensate. That then means the car is running with less downforce for the corners, which makes things harder in braking and slower through the turns. This is the spiral of negativity that McLaren finds itself trapped in right now, with a car it knows can theoretically be better around the corners. However, if it went in that direction, it would actually be slower around the lap because of time lost on the straights. Norris has finished 17th in both races, prompting speculation the highly touted Brit could be eyeing a move to Mercedes when Lewis Hamilton retires. The F1 world declared Ricardo was the big winner of the season opener in Bahrain and the reaction was very much the same after McLaren finished out of the points once again in Jeddah.